In June of 2021, my husband and I took a sabbatical and set off on a road trip with our dog, Ezra. We traveled across Canada, spending the summer living out of our forerunner and the fall and winter living in different cities across the West Coast. It was by intention both an explorative and challenging new experience to spend more time in nature and push ourselves out of our comfort zone. Eight months later, we returned to Toronto. There was something bittersweet about being back in our hometown. At first, it started out sweet. Although traveling is fun, being on the constant move can get pretty tiring. Packing, unpacking, packing, unpacking. It was comforting to finally have a stable home base. So we moved into our new place, got settled, and I started to furnish it to make it feel like home. Right, 10 months later, we had a small wedding at City Hall. and we had an intimate celebration with her family and friends at our place. To Roman and Julia. <laughs> so, Julia, the sweetest girl, the most energetic girl we ever met, staying with him and deciding to, to share your path with him. Mm. So, thank you so much. Even though the celebration was for starting a new chapter together, it also felt like the last hurrah before closing our chapter in Toronto. You see, returning to Toronto wasn't exactly by choice. We were running out of money and needed to find jobs again, and we still had all of our stuff in storage to deal with. When we set off on our road trip, we really wanted to get out of the city and find peace and quiet. And we definitely thought we'd end up living somewhere on the West Coast. So being right back where we started, in the place that we wanted to leave, didn't really feel right. We still had a desire to live a slower life closer to nature and to simply have the experience of living somewhere else since both of us had only ever lived in the GTA our whole lives. It wasn't long until the bitter feeling came back. We spent our time and money absolutely indulging in all of the delicious food in the city since that was the main thing we enjoyed there. Being pet parents in our 30s, we weren't in the city for entertainment or nightlife. We were there for the convenience and the food. And boy, is there a lot of good ass food. though I was full of amazing food, I didn't feel nourished. I didn't feel inspired. I felt comfortable again. The kind of comfort you feel when you've realized you've outgrown something and need a change. Growth can't happen without change and we were ready to start our new chapter, so we decided to move. Now that we decided, we had to figure out all the logistics and consider when the best time to move would be. And since tenants only need to give 30 days notice there, we couldn't actually sign a lease that much in advance of our actual move. So we signed a lease in mid-November for a start of January 1st so that we could drive over throughout the holidays and start the new year in our new city in our new home. Needless to say, the next six weeks were absolutely chaotic. We had a shit ton to pack and we also got Nova Spade to have it done before we left Toronto. We ended up moving all of our stuff through storage containers so we only had to drive ourselves and our pets over. But of course, you're never really fully packed when you think you are, so the car ended up being pretty full too. It was a five night trip that was exhausting for everyone. But even though it was the third time we were doing this drive, the views were still incredible. Six days of driving later, we finally made it in time to ring in the new year in our new home. Although our decision to move wasn't made on a whim, the actual move happened really quickly. And even though this is what I wanted, it felt like the reality of it was only now sinking in. What if I don't actually like it more here? 
The first few weeks were a bit shaky. Our place was in complete disarray and unpacking did not go much faster than packing, but we slowly started to settle. We got a Costco membership. We found a huge dog park with an amazing view. We went snowboarding at our local ski resort. Love you. We hung out with family. She's about to start laughing any second now. <laughs> Found the most incredible burger joint and started to explore our new city. And most of all, we remember to just have fun. The weather's starting to get warmer here, the sun is shining more often, and the days are getting longer. Spring is just around the corner, and I know summer will be even better. So what if I don't end up liking it here? Then we'll move again until we find a city that feels like our city. No big deal. This is exactly what life is about. Experimenting, learning, and growing, and getting to know myself better. If I don't try, I'll never know, and hey, what if I actually do like it more here? <laughs>